Hello everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain the comparison of hydraulic motor and pump. There are two main components in the hydraulic system. Those are hydraulic motor and hydraulic pump. I am going to compare here these two major components of the hydraulic system. The comparison in terms of the points we are going to take and later the comparison with the sketch working also I will take. Then what is meant by hydraulic motor? It is called as a hydraulic actuator and it is an output device which will produce the output power which is required for the various operations of the hydraulic system. And hydraulic pump, it is an input power source. The hydraulic pump provides the fluid power to the hydraulic system for the its working. Then here the first point what we take that is it is a device for delivering a torque at a given pressure. The main emphasis is on mechanical efficiency and torque that can be transmitted. The motor is a rotary uh, power producing uh, device and that's why it is uh, producing delivering the torque at a given pressure. And main emphasis given to this one its mechanical efficiency and torque that can be transmitted. And pump, hydraulic pump, it is a device for delivering the flow at a given pressure. It will produce a flow at a given pressure. The main emphasis is on volumetric efficiency and flow. Its volumetric efficiency and flow rate, its main emphasis. Motors usually operate over a wide range of speed from a low RPM to the high RPM. The speed will be variable for this hydraulic motor. The pumps usually operate at a high RPM only. Okay. Most motors are designed for bi-directional applications such as braking loads, rotary, tables, etc. In most situations, pump usually operate in one direction only. The motors operate in both the directions, clockwise and anticlockwise, and Pumps will operate or rotates in only one direction. Motors may be ideal for long time, as in index table it is given. Okay. That it may be ideal for a long time. Based on that direction control valve, if you have not sub supplied the uh, fluid to that motor, it will be remains ideal. And the other direction also, other uh, the actuators may be operated at a given time. The pumps usually operate continuously because the pump will supply the fluid for the system continuously. That can be used for the this actuating the system, and that actuation may be depend on the that variation through the direction control hall. Motors are subjected to high side loads from gears, chains, belt driven pulleys. Motors are subjected high side loads because here the it should run the uh, through the gears the some rotary the motion it should provide the chains may be connected belt driven by to the other devices it may be connected by that the side loads may be there on the motors majority of pumps are not subjected to side loads usually the pumps are pad mounted over a power pack and top and shaft is connected to the prime mover directly so some of the the unbalanced vein pump and uh, in uh, that internal gear pump like that the some pumps may have the side loads but the most of the uh, majority of the pumps are not having the side loads next we'll take that is how it works by taking the one of the uh, some basic there is a pump and the motor which is a external gear pump external gear motor Okay, this is the external gear motor. It consists of the two spur gears and fluid is supplied at a higher pressure to the inlet to the gears. And this fluid will be pressurizes the this gear teeth. It will apply the force on the gears so that the gear will rotate. The gears will be rotated. And one of the gear will be connected to the output shaft where the rotary uh, shaft power we are going to get. And fluid will be carried around the gear in this one passage between the teeth and the its casing. And the fluid, the its power will be transmitted to the gear. Therefore, the fluid 
out at a low pressure its pressure will be reduced at the outlet and it is symbolically shown like this in the gear motor the in input flow rate the arrow mark whatever shown here that is the flow will be entering to that system to get its as a rotary power the flow inlet at higher pressure is shown and coming to this uh, hydraulic pump it also consists of the two gears externally mating and here the fluid in at a low pressure the fluid is entering at a lower pressure and one of the shaft of this uh, uh, gear will be connected to a prime mover so that it's by that power it will be rotates therefore the fluid will be carried with a fresher in the throughout the chamber formed between the teeth and the that casing and that chamber uh, whatever the fluid uh, comes to the outlet during the its meshing it will be get pressurized it will be get pressurized and the fluid outlet at a high pressure we are going to get and that fluid we are going to supply to the the hydraulic system and this is the input power source and this is the output power source of the hydraulic system and symbolically it is shown like this okay the arrow mark is towards the port side means here the flow is taking out of this pump in the system at a higher pressure like this we can compare the hydraulic motor and the hydraulic pump which are the two major components of the hydraulic system thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment